Today, I am starting my adventure at Dobbin Den. Starting my adventure here at Hedgium Gate. It's built on low ground, so it has an extra wall on the outside to protect it. Sole Fortress Wall was built in the Joseph period to protect the city. It's a big loop that goes all around for 18 kilometres. It's getting hot already. I need to take my jacket off. We've got a great view of Namson Tower up there. This section has plenty of cute cafes with great views over the city. Wow, this is the first day it's been really clear and I can see the shapes of the mountains. Makes up for me popping up the hill. All right, I was a bit confused by this sign, but I think I finally figured it out. I have to go through the hole to keep going. This way is a dead end. We'll find out. It's more downhill, which I guess is going to be more uphill. I think it's going to be up and down all day. <laughs> I set up that shot and there's no water. <laughs> this stone here inscribes which area built this part of the wall and who's responsible for it. I'm a bit confused. That's where I'm going to go to. But there's a road and some stairs. Well, it looks like this is where I go back up to rejoin the path. It's taken about an hour and I've made it here to Hyawum Gate. I wonder how my Aussie pronunciation of Korean words is going. So let's pretend I'm going to court and go through the gate. Up here is some beautiful paintings. And then next I go through and on and up again. Well, on my road, it doesn't feel very much like a mountain trail. The wall's still here. So. Oh, I think the wall's getting reconstructed here. Oh yeah, here we are. The wall's totally disappeared here, it's apartments. I'll keep going for a bit, see if I refind it. Well, I'm gonna have to get out my phone and look on the maps. I think it's probably up there, but I can see the wall up there as well. All right, I'm sitting in the shade, a drink, and I'm gonna get out my phone and figure out where I am. I've asked two people for help. They obviously didn't like the look of me. They went Burr! and just ran off. And I'm guessing it's this way. Really not sure. All right, here's a sign. That's not how I actually think I'm going, but maybe that's where they think I'm going. <laughs> All right, I just got a nice Korean man watching his car who approached me to see if I was okay. And point me on the right direction. Oh my God, a sign, I'm in the right place. 
I guess this is a bit of a wall now. It's a bit of a tight fit with all the cars. It is somewhere. This is a pedestrian crossing, but all the cars just keep driving. I just step out. It's pretty weird. That little lane's where I came out of. And now I'm going to go down here somewhere. This looks a bit more promising. I think I can see easily where I'm going now. So I started there. This was beautiful. This was good. This was confusing and now I'm here. Anyong means high. Anyong Heisio is the proper hello. I don't think I meant to say Anyong to people I don't know, especially if they're older than me. But how do you know who's older than you? It's all a mystery. There's three lots of steps here. I guess I'll stick with the ones with the wall. And up we go again. No playing cards at that spot. Wonder what that's about. Oh look, there's another set of stairs. Oh, I've just figured something out. This word, Hyanda Osing, must be the full name of the fortress wall. Because here it's saying it runs 18.6 kilometers, which is the whole thing. I don't know what the machine is, but it's something to clean off your dirt. I guess. In Jason times, I suppose it'd be soldiers with arrows running up and down these stairs. Who picked the route for this work? Me? Man, I had no idea there were so many stairs. I'm huffing, I'm puffing, but I'm still making progress. It's all blocked up up here. I think it's like an observatory or something. I think I saw it from way down. So it looks like we go this way. Well, the thing it's telling me to aim for is not on the sign. So I guess I just keep following the wall. So bits of the wall are restored. So I'd say this side is old and this side is new. I guess the glass is there so they can see if the wall's moving. Oh yeah, look, here's some target marks as well. Let's say for surveyors. I tell you, you're never far from a security camera in Seoul. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure. The people that built these walls must have had some interesting ways to move these blocks. I mean, there's lots of big rocky mountains over there, so I guess that's where it's come from. How was it transported? How did they cut it? And this is the kind of sign I'd like all along the way. That's the first one I've seen. And a toilet. Pretty good walk, it's got a toilet. Bit of a detour, isn't it? Oh goody, more steps. I just ran into a really nice guy and checked out my maps and told me little bits of where to go and little bits to where to bail out. I'm pretty sure I understood him. So I'm going to get out to the next gate and then make some decisions. Hi, 
I'm a bit puffed from that last bit. We go up here, it's time for a snack. Telling me Malwabi Observatory is 60 metres away for about, I don't know, the last 300. All right, I'm huddled up here in the shade. Got a nice rock to rest against, have a drink. And a rest. I've had a snack, had a break, stripped off another layer, and now I'm ready to head that way. Wish me luck. These ladies are all looking at their phones as well. They don't know if they're going the right way. I don't know what, I think they're speaking Korean, I'm not sure. All right, let's see how far we've got now. We're slowing down a little bit. Started here. Did all this, got lost here, gone through lots of stuff here, aiming for there. Lots of great views up here. And I think I'm going over there somewhere. I think I can see a bit of it. I just ran into some guy from England and he reckons it's another an hour or so to where I want to go. He was very flippant about it though, so I'm not sure what his hour means. I've picked up a group of ladies, don't speak much English, but they're very friendly. I tell you, some of these steps, they're really big. Yes, I've made it to the next gate. This one is called Soryang Jom, something like that. I'm down to my last bit of water but I'm pushing on to the next gate. I ran into a French couple and they reckon an hour and a half. I knew that English guy was just hamming it up a bit. All right, wish me luck. There's supposed to be somewhere here you show your passports. Maybe you don't do it anymore. I'm not sure. Well, I just had a peek over where you're not allowed to take photos. And it's all bush and forest. But I guess that direction is North Korea. A bit of down before it looks like an epic up. And this tree here is quite famous. It's called the January 21 Incident Tree. So what happened in 1968, some North Korean commando soldiers came from that way over the hill down to where the Blue House is. The Blue House is where Parliament is and where the Prime Minister lives. And they were there to assassinate the Prime Minister. Well, they got caught. There was a big firefight between soldiers and this tree ended up with 15 bullets in it. And they're still there today. A girl from Germany and a guy from Cyprus had told me that this is the last push up. Do I believe them? I think so. Or is it I hope so? I'm about to get overtaken by some very determined walkers, I think. I made it and have a go at the views. I'm 
I've been so lucky that it's clear today. See all the beautiful ridges on top of the mountains. Of course, I just have to go that little bit extra to go to the very, very, very top, don't we? <laughs> okay, the man told me to climb up, so I did. I just met two guys, 65 and 72, who took photos for me. They looked like they were 50. They must do the Korean beauty treatments on their face as well. They were super active and, and very nice. So now I know from here it's all downhill. This is pretty steep. I wonder everybody's puffing coming up. This is just beautiful. We keep seeing great views of the mountains. Where I come from? Australia. Australia. What about you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My legs are feeling like chilly now. I hope I'm nearly to the end. Well, my end. There's a special treat waiting for me at the end. This is nuts. We wouldn't want to come up this way. We're all going down. But I can see some civilization. And I've made it to my final gate, Xingguan Balm. My high five to me. Now they tell me there's a stamp. Maybe I could have got stamps all along the way. I don't know. The fast, slow, old baby fell. They were like turtles, they just kept going. They told me to go this way. Food. And this is the first cafe, and I'm going straight in. Okay, I'm pretty tired, but I'm really happy that I did my walk on the coolest, clearest day. We've got great views of the mountains. Amazing. Very hard though, up and down. I'm so impressed with the oldies. They are so fit and they just keep going. Now it's nearly time for my special treat. Let's go zero. And some down. <laughs> what do you reckon? Uh, I don't know how I'm going to eat all. Cold, sweet and delicious. <laughs>